Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, stop what you're doing and subscribe. It takes like a millisecond and I would love, love, love to cook with you guys. So today I'm making, I'm actually really excited about this if you can't tell. Today I'm making my busy mom chicken pot pie. So I do make two different chicken pot pies. The one where it's like, stay at home mom and I have nothing but time to cook. And then there's this one where it's like, we gotta go and this is just one of those nights where we just need sustenance in our bodies. Um, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. The cool thing about this recipe is that it takes nothing but assembly. So you don't have to like saute anything, you don't have to cook anything down, you just get the ingredients and you literally throw them in the bowl. So first I took two spring onions and I just chopped them up and put them at the bottom of this bowl. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some frozen peas and carrots. You guys, don't click out of this video just because it's frozen. Like, it's gonna be bomb. Um, there's really no, I don't wanna say there's no difference between this recipe and my stay-at-home mom's chicken pot pie. Whoops! But, one just takes longer and there's just a little bit more, like I had cream and there's like freshly baked pie crust. This one is store-bought. Um, it's the little things sometimes that make a difference, but that one I make because I just have time and I love like baking and cooking, but this is amazing for when you just gotta go. You know what I'm saying? But you really want a hearty meal. You don't just wanna go out and get McDonald's for the kids. You still want us to be eating something like decadent and filling. Um, the only time that this takes is really just the baking time. So I went ahead and I added the peas and carrots in here. Then I'm gonna get, yes, we are working with cans. Do, which one is this? The cream of chicken? And then this is the cream of celery. I'm just gonna add both cans to this mixture. You're gonna need a spatula to stir all up. Let me get that. So I'm just gonna mix it all up. And then I'm gonna add my cream of chicken. This is the celery. You guys, do you see how easy this is? Like, I'm literally just tossing everything together. This is great also for, like I said, the times where you just need to get something on the table. But honestly, when you have little ones and especially a husband, he's not gonna notice the difference between like one that took you like an eon to prepare versus this one that takes like no time to prep and all the time is in the cooking. I promise you, he notices nothing. And when I'm just busy and just gotta go, 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 this is like my go-to. I do feel like my grandma would be pissed though. Cause she always tells me like, it's so easy to make pie crust, but every time I do it, I make like the biggest mess. I just can't, cause I'm like, I don't have a food processor and that's how she does it. And then she's like very adamant about using like frozen ice. And it's like weird, it's weird. Like one day I'll show you guys her recipe. But she's like really strange about that. She's like, yeah, you have to use ice cubes in the water that you put in the flour mixture. Oh, grandma, what a time when we just go ahead and get this pie crust. You feel me, busy moms out there? Comment down below if this is your type of recipe. So I'm just gonna add some pepper. Um, this recipe doesn't really call for it. I'm gonna put it down below in the description box so you guys can know how to make it. But this is kind of me just doctoring it up a little bit. So the basics are just like the garlic salt, the cans, the veggies and the chicken thighs, but y'all know this is cooking with Kindle, so gotta add a little bit of love in there. So this is just Lowry's garlic salt. I use the Lowry's because it's got some more love than just garlic salt. If you tried it, then you know what I'm saying. And then I'm gonna do some regular salt. I'm not gonna go too heavy, just a little pinch. Make sure all my salt bases are covered. Do I need anything else? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something because it's too easy. No, but I do have regular Lowry seasoning and some parsley. This is actually going to be for the top of the pie crust. This wasn't in my recipe, but I'm gonna add it down below in the description box. So you guys, if you feel like you have a little bit of extra time or you just want your pie to be a little bit like more zhuzhed, then I'll show you guys how to do that. And you just add it on top and it just makes the pie crust look a little and taste a little more homemade. But honestly, you guys, I swear to God, no one's gonna be like, did you buy a can and put it in? They still don't eat it, you feel me? So I'm just mixing this up. So I haven't added the raw chicken because I am gonna taste this mixture and we don't eat raw chicken. So I can't do that if I add the raw chicken. So I'm just gonna add all the seasonings and then give it a taste 
And if it's under seasoned, then I'm gonna add some more. We don't over season, so there's no chance of that. Let's see. It needs more seasoning, so. But it doesn't need just salt. I'm gonna add more of the garlic salt. Boop. And I feel like I can eyeball exactly how much it needs, but just go slow if, if you don't eyeball very much. I feel like my eyeball measurements are better than my actual measurements. Like I'm pretty spot on if I do say some of that. That was such a corny mom thing. I'm gonna add a little bit of my kosher salt. Again, just to cover all my salt bases because when I add one, I wanna add the other. Boom. Okay. We're gonna taste it one more time and I feel like we should be spot on. What is that? Oh, hi. Hola. I'm making my chicken pot pie. Come on, y'all. Now we're in a perfect position to add the chicken and preheat your oven. Why do I always forget to preheat my oven? Just put it on 350. My oven works pretty quickly, so we'll be all right. So I'm just gonna add that chicken in, and then I will show you guys the next step because it's actually kind of cool. All right, you guys, so this is our first pie crust. I'm just gonna unravel it and put it in this. This is like a really small aluminum baking dish. Honestly, because this one was the cheapest, but whatever works, you can use a Pyrex glass one if you have it. I feel like I need to start like investing into better cookware that I'm gonna have for a long time. I will, eventually. If you guys have any suggestions, like Amazon cookware sets that you just swear by, please comment down below. I would love, love, love to know what you guys are loving right now. So in this little bowl, I just have whisked one egg and I have this little pastry brush. So I'm just gonna brush it along the edges right here. Um, some people brush it on the bottom. However, I find that to be completely useless because you're just adding a thin layer of egg that's never gonna do what the egg bath is supposed to do, like what the purpose is. It's supposed to brown your pastry, but it's never gonna see the top of the oven. So you would just have like a light layer of eggs. So do, does that make any sense? Like I'm not gonna do it at the bottom, but I will do it to the sides right here so that it can perfectly mesh with the top. So I did go ahead and I added our chicken in this bowl because everything was perfectly seasoned. What is our oven on right now? We're at 121. We're good. It's not gonna take that long. So, like I said, this is a smaller aluminum dish. So I'm not just gonna dump it all in there. I don't wanna overwhelm it because I don't want it to start to bubble in the oven. You can put a, um, like a pan underneath to catch any fallout, but I'm not going to. I'm just not gonna overdo it. So I feel like I can get some more in there. Just leaving out all of it. But it's like also not enough for two, so I hate to waste, but guys. Okay, maybe one more scoop and then we're good. Maybe a little more. I might actually get the whole thing in there, am I? I'm gonna get the whole thing in there! Yeah! My camera guy said no. Watch me just because he doubted me. Boom. Who couldn't? Yo, watch me. Lord bless my oven. Cause when things spill in my oven, the whole house starts smoking. It's literally terrible. But I think we should be good. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be a little hot. But that's okay. It's gonna taste amazing. I'm just trying to flatten it out. Awesome. All right. We're gonna move on to our top pie crust, which I'm so excited about. Like, I love doing this. I just love like zhuzhing things up. This part is completely optional, not this pie crust. You need this pie crust on the top. That's not optional. The optional part is what I'm about to show you. So, I'm just gonna add this to the tizzy top and then marry those two edges. That's why I added the egg yolk, because it's just gonna make it a lot easier. 
I'm just gonna fold it out and under because we do have a little bit of excess. Excess, what? Excess! You guys, I have a very vast vocabulary, okay? You know what I'm talking about. All right, this should be good. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, now comes the fun part. I need to pinch it a little bit more, actually. You can make this cute if you want. I'm just not. Unless it's like a holiday, I really don't make my pies cute. We're just gonna like dig into it anyway. Or if I'm like making it on like Instagram or something, but you don't have to make this cute unless you just really want to. Okay, now we're gonna take that egg wash. Did I say egg bath earlier? I feel like I said egg bath. That sounds really weird. It's an egg wash. I'm tired and hungry and pregnant. Okay, so we're gonna take the egg wash and we're just going to a thin layer, you guys, a thin layer. You don't want scrambled eggs on top of your pie. I've made the mistake before. A little goes a long way. But you'll see it kind of adds this like crackled, beautiful golden color on top. I do this to any store-bought situation, pastry situation that I have. I did, I think for like one of the holidays, I don't know if it was Christmas or Thanksgiving, I did this um, like caramelized onion and like brie or gruyere or cheese or something tart. And y'all, I put this on the edges and everyone was like, oh, it's so beautiful. I know it was. <laughs> That's just my egg yolk. So that should be good right there. Just wanna make sure I cover all my bases. And then maybe a little more for good luck. Boom, okay. That's not the cool part, we're getting there. So, <laughs> this is the cool part. And I feel like actually it's cooler when it's done, but you'll see that. So I'm just going to sprinkle some Laris. Laris Silvna. It's okay to be messy with this part, it's fine. We'll all survive. Just enough for color. Um, it's very strong, so unless you just really wanna season your crust, I would just chill just enough to get that like golden color. And then we're gonna do some dried parsley. You can use fresh parsley. I don't see why you would, unless it's like inside, but just not for the, not just like to have it on top of the pie crust. Boom. I feel like my grandma taught me this. Or was it me? I don't know, somebody taught me this. No, yeah, it was my grandma. It was. Cause I remember like eating her quiches and she does this with her quiches and it's so cute. All right, boom. You'll really see like, what it does when it comes out, but like it adds just an extra layer of um, and I promise you, if you ask my husband, did your wife make the pie crust by herself? He's gonna say, duh, <laughs> I didn't. Anyways, oh, we're not even ready yet. So it's at, what is it? Can't see that bar. 264. 264. So we have like 100 more degrees to go. So I will update you guys right before I put this into the oven. So you guys, I just put some aluminum foil on the top of our pie. The oven has just reached 350, so I'm just gonna pop this in for 45 minutes. I know, I know. Guys, I don't pick the time, but it's gonna be 45 minutes and put it at the bottom so everything cooks through. Then once you take it out, you're gonna undo the foil and then put it at the top for another 25 minutes so you get that like nice golden brown color. I know it kind of takes a while, but y'all, it kind of makes up for it because we didn't have to do anything and you want that chicken cooked through, right? Because you don't want salmonella, so. I will meet you guys once we make the 45 minute mark. Okay, you guys, so the timer beeped at the 45 minute mark. This is what your pie should look like. Now I just need to get my mittens and then we're gonna put this right back into the oven at 25 minutes, same degrees, 350. And that's just gonna like brown the tops so and then we're gonna get like the effect of that egg yolk and the seasonings on the top. It's gonna be like crackly and speckled and delicious and golden and beautiful. I'm so excited. So I don't know if you guys wanna see me do this cause I have anxiety and I feel like I'm gonna drop the whole pie if you're watching me. So I'll just show you like the cool part of this. All right, you guys, our pie is finished, you guys. I just wanna point out a couple things. If I hadn't done the Lowry's mixed with like the egg yolk and the parsley, this would look like just golden and that's it. It would look kind of like boring, um, but still a little something because it would have that like golden crackled speckled look. But look how much the seasoning and the parsley does for it. Like 
If you get nothing else from this video, do this to any um, not from scratch pie that you have and I swear it will like amp up your pie that much more. So I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm so hungry, but it's really hot. Like, of course I touch the hot stove. It's really freaking hot. So I'm gonna wait. Um, comment down below if you guys decided to make this recipe. As always, I love you guys and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.